Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. We am going to be showing you my wildlife experience. No, my wildlife experience. No, I love getting out in the world and experiencing what's out here because there is a ton of things to explore out here. There's like ponds and forests and like your backyard even could have a ton of cool stuff in it. So what I'm saying right now is to um what I'm saying right now there's so many cars in here. What I'm saying right now is to make sure you explore the world. Now sometimes I'm afraid of things, but sometimes I'm mostly not afraid of things. Just get out there. If if you're like if you're like kinda like me, I love exploring the world because I'm mostly in there watching TV because I don't know what to do except getting out here and exploring this humongous world. Like, this is us right now, and this is the world. It's humongous. But it's, <laughs> in space, it's probably like a billion sectillion times bigger than this Earth right now. But I'm going to be showing you my wildlife experience. I love getting out there and doing stuff. So... First thing, I'm going to be showing you like ants, like what type of animals I like to catch and experience and stuff. My two favorite animals are ring snake, ring head snakes, ring headed snakes. I don't know if you guys know what that is. And lizards, just wild lizards. And my personal favorite animal is bearded dragons. Now, bearded dragons are my favorite animal. I just said that like four times, well, two times. But. Bear dragons are my favorite animal. I have a bear dragon. If you guys are a fan of my YouTube videos and my channel and you have subscribed, make sure to subscribe. It's free. Um, um, you know that I'm a big fan of bearded dragons, and I have a bearded dragon in my room. My room is it's right over there. I have a bearded dragon. My neighbors my friend neighbors whatever they are playing over there don't mind the noise but i just love bearded dragons they're my favorite animal and yeah so my second favorite animal was like snakes now they we don't really have any snakes around here well we we do have snakes but very rarely we get snakes we sometimes get ring snakes in the pool and stuff like that so yeah Comment down below what your favorite animal is, because I want to know. I want to see what your guys' favorite animal is. I'm just going to make this video kind of short, maybe like five minutes or so like that. But my second, my third or fourth favorite animal are frogs. Now, I love frogs. Frog is, um, I actually catch a lot of frogs in our backyard. One time I caught one. It was like a, it was like a toad. It was like this big. We were in Alabama, and we have a dog named Nova. Our friend um, has a dog named Nova, and we were playing out in the backyard. The backyard is so big, by the way. It's like fifty or forty feet big. It's a lot bigger than that. It's like two hundred feet, something like that, and. We were running around playing, training her, and then she went up to a tree and started biting down. I was like, what? And then I went over there. She was, the frog was jumping around her, and she was trying to chase it and eat it. I was like, oh, heck no. I didn't see it, but Jameson told me she's trying to eat a frog. So I was like, oh, no, I got to get down there. So I caught, I caught, I went down there and caught the frog. I, it really camouflaged. She had to point the flashlight to show me where it was, but I, I would catch the toad, and then I went back up. I It was, like, all spotted. I think it was, like, a brown spotted toad, something like that. And it, they are very poisonous. I don't know why I didn't wear gloves or do anything like that, wear any gloves. I just washed my hands for, like, 30 minutes after I did that. I'm not joking, like, 30 minutes or something, half an hour. And... It, that was one of the that was one of the biggest frogs I've ever held. No, the biggest frog ever. Um, I know a lot of stuff about animals. The biggest frog ever held by human was about 13 feet long. 
and it was an uh, American bullfrog, bull toad, I should say. That was insane. Now, I watched that on TV, and the guy who did that is named Wildlife. I forgot, I haven't watched it. I watched it, it was like the experience of wildlife, something like that, and he got a 14, 13, whatever it is, foot, foot toad. <gasps> Literally, what? So I went back, so I went back to watch that thing again in Alabama, and he deleted his YouTube channel. But I pinky promise, like, that he caught a 14 or 13 foot toad. I was like four or five years ago when I watched this. I started becoming, well, I am a good parkourist. I'll make a whole nother video on like how to do parkour and stuff like that. But I'm mostly, I am mostly, God, God made me for wildlife and parkour. <laughs> parkour. I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah. I have one more thing to tell you. One more animal. Now this is going to sound really weird. But. I'm, I'm going to tell you a little fact. You know those earbuds. That like you think they can go into your ear and stuff. And like hold, like, get horns in your ear. And you won't even notice. They actually don't. They just crawl around here. The Actually the only place they avoid. Is your ears. They can crawl around. You, they can build homes in your mouth. They actually most likely would build homes. They would, when you were asleep, they would crawl. This is gonna sound really creepy. You might want to skip this part. But they crawl into your eye, and then they make homes behind your eyeball. It's so disgusting. I so that is today's video, guys. I just want to tell you a little fact about earbuds. I don't know why. We'll see you later. Peace. We out.